اينشتاين بيقول التعليم مفهوش ملل حب نفسك مكاني هتفقد الامل ملينا المدرسه ونظام صب وكب شرح طول الوقت عمل لنا دروب يا استاذ انا عقلي مش سبونج بوب يشرب المعلومه وبعديها يكب هنا في نو سكول طلعنا من الدروب لعب مرح تفاعلات هتعجبك يا بوب نو سكول اكاديمي سيمبلي ليرن ديفرنت Hi guys, in video number three for No School Academy and with me, Miss Nihal. Today is a very interesting video because it's story time. I know that most of you like stories. So here is our story and it's called Heidi. So the girls also would prefer it more than the boys, but the boys would like it, I'm sure. Okay, at the very first and beginning, go and scan the QR code, play this game or go to the link down, visit the website and play the game. I told you that I love you and I do whatever you like. Yes, in the beginning again, yeah, in the beginning of the session, we are going to play. Then get ready for telling the story. Go and be back soon. Our agenda for today is to read the story, which is called Heidi. Ask and answer questions about yourself and practice some questions about this story. So make sure that we achieve our agenda each time. And actually, you are the best students that help me every time to achieve my agenda. You're super and exceeds my expectations. So let's get started with the keywords of our session today. The keywords of our session today are orphan. Orphan, just repeat after me, orphan. Orphan. An orphan means someone who doesn't have a mother or father, a child without a mother or father. The second word is attic. An attic is a small room that we put our things in it, in any house. The third word is mountain. Of course, every one of you knows what's mountain. And the fourth word is a goat, something, or an animal like sheep. We get milk and cheese from it. The next word is birds and birds here means everything that can fly okay then flowers flowers and then adventure the word adventure means something exciting something unusual you do for example when i say i go to school every day there is nothing here means adventure adventure means climbing a mountain going to the desert alone going on a camp or a trip okay so something exciting and the last word is city. City is a place that you can find shops, cars, a lot of houses. It's totally different from the village. These are our keywords for today. Let's start our session. Get your things and material and be ready. I remind you of the material. Get your sticky notes, your notebook, your pens, your mobile to scan the QR codes, and the external book of Moasir if you want this and let's start the session when i say that the story time comes or reading stories comes that is something really enjoyable for those who loves reading and i go to ask you a question for um, your favorite stories or your favorite books that you've ever read all over your life from you were a child or a baby till now okay just when you start reading, there, there was something favorable to read. So my question is, what is your favorite children's story or animated story? Can you tell me, please? Leave your comments or send me. Okay. Be ready for the session. From these stories, do you know the story of Heidi? Did anyone re read it before? Have you met it in your life, the Heidi story? Of course, you're going to be lucky if you know it, okay? So, go to this video, watch the trailer of Heidi movie. You can find it anywhere on the internet and come back to me to start discussing the lesson in your book. Okay, go, don't be late. Today you take the girl up on the Alps. Do you know no idea what the mountains are like? My name's Heidi. Here's her. Night, my father. Aunt Eta! Heidi, my child! Come! We've got a train to catch. 
How would you like to live in a nice, big, beautiful house? And Clara. Where's Heidi? In this house, we have rules. There will not be any running, hopping, or jumping. I have never met a young lady as intriguing as you are. We have let a completely wild and uneducated creature into this house. Look! Aww, they're so cute! Oh, oh, water! The place where you come from, it has to be quite different. It was a good decision to find a friend for Clara. It has changed it for the better. Grandfather! Are you ready? Have you seen the video? Did you enjoy it? Go and complete the whole film. You can find it on the internet as I told you. Or you may get the book from any bookshop or search it from Amazon or any sites that uh, produce um, ebooks. Okay? So open your books, follow me while reading the story or the read reading lesson about Heidi. Here is our story which is called Heidi by Johannes Pyre. Okay? And Heidi is the story of an orphan girl. Actually, an orphan girl means she has no mother or father. She goes to live with her grandfather in Switzerland. Her grandfather is an old man. He lives in a small house in the mountains and he has lots of goats. Heidi sleeps in a bed in the attic of the house. She drinks goat's milk and eats bread and cheese. Every day she walks in the mountains with, her, with the goats, her grandfather, and her friend Peter. She sees birds and flowers. She's very happy. But one day Heidi's aunt arrives and takes her to the city. Heidi doesn't like the city and she's very sad to be away from her grandfather, Peter, and the goats. Heidi has lots of adventures in the city. Okay, follow me, read it again alone and be ready for the questions. Here in your books, it asks you to put the pictures in order according to your reading or according to the incidents or the sequence of the events in the story. So we have three pictures, we just want to put them in order. So letter A takes which order? B and C. Have you got the idea? You read the story, you find order of events, certain events come next each other, and you have three pictures. Just put them in order. So the first picture is gonna be number? Yeah, great, super students two. And the following picture is? Three, great, and the last one is? the first picture because as you can see in it Heidi sleeps in the attic of the house of her grandfather great students clap your hands for yourselves let's move to another part okay here comes the questions that I told you to pay attention to answer them perfectly okay here are the questions that I told you after reading you're going to have them the first question is what does Heidi learn from living with her grandfather this is a critical thinking question. What do I mean by critical thinking question? Critical thinking question is something that has no wrong or right answer. Every answer is acceptable as long as it follows the context. Express it by your own point of view, express it by your own opinion. So when you have a question starts with what do you think or do you think, it's based on your point of view, okay? So there's no wrong answer in it. Do you think Heidi learns what with living with her grandfather? I can see or I think that Heidi learns loving nature, walking yearly, walking in the mountains, um, depend on herself somehow. There are a lot of answers and you can change the answers the way you can. As long as I told you it's correct and follow the text, so don't get external things. The second question is, where does Heidi's grandfather live? Hmm. Heidi moved to live with her grandfather who lives in Switzerland. Excellent. The third question is, what food and drinks does Heidi have? What food and drinks does Heidi have? From the 
passage itself or from the reading lesson, we have that Heidi eats bread and cheese and drinks the goat's milk. Okay? Question number four. What are her hobbies in the mountains? What are her hobbies in the mountains? Yes, let me listen to your answers. Do you think Heidi is right to love life in the mountain? If you were Heidi, do you love living in the mountain? Do you love this life? Tell me why or why not. If yes, why? And if no, why not? I just not answer this question because I, I may get uh, biased or get uh, affecting you uh, for saying uh, certain answers. So express yourself. Whatever you would like to say in this question is going to be right. The next one is, can you think of anything difficult about living in the mountains? Of course, I can see that a lot of things are difficult there. Living in the mountains means scary life somehow. You may find wild animals. You may find it cold. You may find um, a restless place. There are no beds or comfortable places to stay. Also, let me know your viewpoint or point of view. The next question is, what do you think Heidi found difficult about moving to the city? Although all of these difficult things and this difficult life, Heidi found it difficult to move to the city. So when her aunt came to take her to the city, Heidi got sad to leave her grandfather, the goats and the nature and her friend Peter. She felt sad to move to the city. Maybe Yani, let, let's think together. Heidi got sad because the city is crowded and noisy. Also, she may be sad because she's going to leave her friend and her grandfather, as, as we mentioned. Many things that may let her sad, okay? The next question is, why is Heidi sad in the city? It has the same answer, but I just collect all the questions in your student's book and workbook together here so some questions may have the same answer okay the next question is add two sentences to the end of the story those who knew the story from before or those who watched the whole film can answer this question very easily but those who don't please imagine just imagine add an ending or add two more sentences to the story written in your books. Also, you have a QR uh, code in your book. You can scan it in your book, in your course book, not on the uh, video. You can scan it and find extra information. Okay? And uh, let me know also your answers as well. The last question here, check if your story ending is the same or no. When you imagine something, those who don't know the end, as I told you, check whether it's the same that you found in the QR code, in the link, or no. And tell me, let's move to another part. بنفكرك لو في أي جزئية مش فهمها اكتبها عندك في النوتس عشان تسأل عنها الأستاذ في الحصة live. Actually, here we have a comic. I know most of you likes comics. Um, imagine that the teacher asks you a question that you don't know and you pretend to know the answer so you just be like this. But I know that you are super students and you're not like this. Let's go to the next part. Here we have an exercise in your books which is give one word for the following meanings. Okay, the first one is an animal that is like a sheep. Animal that are like sheep. Of course, they are goats. The second one is a child with no father or mother. An orphan, great, super. The third one is a room at the top of the house, which is an attic. The fourth one is a place with lots of houses and shops, city. We have discussed this. Here we come to our moral value and ethical value, the lesson that we learn about our life regardless the academic part in every session. Of course, I can uh, get out that from the story of Heidi or from the story of uh, many other stories, actually, you, have, you may read before, uh, the value of being honest. 
So our value today is honesty. Honesty is something super, super, super important in everyday life. You must be treated and treat others in an honest way. You should respect yourself before respecting the others. You should stick to honesty in every small action like or before big actions or major actions. So to be honest is something great. Honest with yourself, honest with your parents, honest with your teachers. Don't lie. Tell the truth over your dead body. Don't lie. Don't even try to lie because this makes you dishonest. And dishonest is something wrong and something bad. We have here a, a religious um, wise saying about honesty. Let's say it together. Okay, our Quranic or religious uh, saying here is لا إيمان لمن لا أمانة له. Okay, so you may go out of the Islamic religion if you are not honest. So please be honest. I'm sure that you are this. Be honest and learn this value. Deal or treat people with it in your everyday life. Here is our homework for today. Let's see it. Because the moral value here is something important, I just give you a game to play regarding honesty and how to be honest and something funny that makes you um, know the value or the great concept or the great effect of being honesty. Go and play the game, scan the code and come back to me. Please don't be late, I'm waiting for you. Our homework for this session is going to be the workbook page 75 and 76 and the Muasir book page 40. And of course, if you wanna uh, make or do extra exercises, make things, uh, much things than this, Feel free to do this and send me to check them with you. Let's be prepared for the second session with the most important keywords. Okay, for the next time you need to prepare what's mean by gymnast, gymnastics, achieve dreams. Again, gymnast, gymnastics, achieve dreams. Be ready for the second session or the next session. Hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed my time with you. Wait for me. And of course, I'm going to wait for your session. Can't wait for it, by the way. See you next time. Goodbye. نتمنى من كل قلبنا الحصة تكون عجبتك. وبنقول لك ما تنساش تحل الكوز اللي في المصادر. وكمان تقيم الحصة تحت في التعليقات. منتظرينك في اللايف في حفظ الله.